Greetings, Saberites. Anonymous here again. So, hopefully everybody is maintaining their sanity in wherever they are. Um, and hopefully you're getting something out of these videos and other videos that other people are putting out um, so that people stay uh, nice and fit and healthy and not as susceptible to illness. So, in that vein, we will continue today with a, another exercise uh, coming from now our Form 2, or Makashi, um, that is also able to be done in a very closed-in space. Now, we're probably familiar with uh, the target, you know, self-targeting and putting up targets in your home and doing thrusts and stuff like that. So we'll kind of uh, gloss over that kind of stuff. Today I wanted to talk about um, what are called our moon guards and our spheres. Now, the first thing is the moon guards. Now, the moon guards are sort of analogous to the Western um, equivalents of, say, uh, like rapier guards sec or rapier positions and, and, and things like that. So, prima, secunda, all those kinds of things. Um, we put them to the to the phases of the moon, and for that we have basically two positions for the hand. You've got your hand with your, with the hand kind of facing in, if your dominant hand, facing in towards your center and the palm out, right? And then on this side with the palm facing the center and the back of the hand out, right? <clears throat> so this position here we call full moon and this position we call new moon, all right? Now, we'll get into how high and all of that kind of thing, but really what this is talking about is this is called is, is the position of your hand in relation to your center, right? Now, what you'll notice is that your hand can only move so far before you have to start lifting your arm up, right, and start doing some of that movement from the shoulder. So we'll get to that here in a second. <clears throat> but what we want to do, and we're going to talk about three positions here. We're going to talk about our full moon, our new moon. And then this position, which you can probably guess, is called half moon. So our half moon is essentially our middle guard from Shicho, right? Our full moon, if we hold it up like this, with the blade at various angles and stuff like that, is not a guard that we have been using thus far. So. <clears throat> It's sort of new. It's the same thing over here. Um, now, the other part of this is our spheres. We divide the weapon up into three sections. We have the quick of the blade up here. This is what most of the striking is done with. We have the strong of the blade down here, which is where most of our parrying is done. And then we have the hilt, okay? These correspond to our spheres, which are named after layers of stars. So on the very end, we have the corona. So the, so the, the, the circle that is furthest out from me, if I can get in here, with my weapon extended, like that, is the corona. That's, a, that's as, far as, I, as far as I reach, right? In the middle, we have the chromosphere. And then down here at the hand and the hilt, we have the photosphere. Okay? Now these positions are our general positions of rotation. Right? So I can rotate from the corona, meaning I keep the tip steady, from the chromosphere, which means I keep the middle steady, and from the photosphere, which I can keep the, uh, the hand steady. Okay? What that looks like is this for chromosphere, or yeah, for chrom uh, corona, not the virus. Chromosphere is here, so you see the hilt and the tip move there, okay. and then photosphere, which is this kind of thing. rotating from the hand and using that. It's more of a striking thing. 
So, we have those three sections and we have our moon guards. So where do they come into play? Well, this has to do a lot with our blade work. So for this exercise, we're just going to get out into Dubak Rider or Mabu, whichever you you prefer calling it. Let me get to a good, good place here. Make sure that's nice and steady. Okay. Now from here, you can start here. What you do with this hand is sort of up to you. You can keep it on your wrist, you can hold it, anything there. You can even take this hand and put it behind your back, All right? That's fine as well. There are different positions that you can get into, but that's totally up to you. So what you do with this hand is sort of up to you. What we're gonna be focus on, focusing on is this one. So now, from half moon, if I wield from the corona, the, the top, right, at the tip, I'm keeping the tip still, and I move up into this position here. Now you see this is a very good defensive maneuver. Same thing here. There. Okay. Notice that it's not just my arm and hand. It's my body. Okay. Now, from half moon to full moon, back to half moon, and then into new moon. Now from here, we make it kind of a smooth motion. And we're trying to keep the tip relatively still. Right. So it'll move around a little bit here, but the, but the, the, the goal is to try to get it to stay fairly, fairly stationary here, right? And then we do the same thing from the, from the uh, chromosphere. It's up here, here. And you see, this is where we're gonna get a lot of our manipulations and things. So if Corona, which is of course, yes, I know, it's a, it's a loaded word right now, but what are you gonna do, right? <clears throat> it just means crown, for anybody who's, who's wondering. <laughs> anyway, so we have this position here, and you can see, if we take sections of it, we have our shifting parries. Right? Going up into high, high positions, all of that, with the chromosphere, we have these movements, right? So going around another blade, right? manipulating, moving them off of the line, right? And then lastly, right, we simply have striking. Now, for the striking, we do have to move the hand, especially for these positions. Right? There is nothing to be gained by trying to not move the hand from here. So, altogether, it will look very much something like this. of these three points of rotation, you can get most of your moves out. Um, you can find parries, you can find um, um, uh, clears, or, or we, we say xi in, in, in Chinese, there's not really a good English word for it, but it's the manipulation of the blade 
kind of back and forth, right? This this kind of uh, you know guiding guiding things off the line, and then of course you have your percussive strikes. Now, of course, these percussive strikes can also be parries, and you can turn these into attacks, right? You could conceivably do this, and if you're playing a game that allows thrusting, of course, you can thrust from these positions. Don't do that in this exercise, right? We want to be square on, and that part of our stance, not good for fighting. We never want to be like this to an opponent. It's just, we always want to have one foot in front of the other. But, so if we look at this kind of from the side, you can see position it's athletic ready it, it you should you should try to hold this stance as long as you can as much as you can um, this stance is a, is a go-to and it's an overall really really good exercise for you to do and people of all levels can do it so so there's that all right so there we have it um, why don't I demonstrate this one more time here, so we have our corona. Think of it as keeping the corona away from you. All right. Hopefully, if you're using a full-length saber, you can get that required six feet. So if you want to think about that, the corona is the furthest away from us. The chromosphere. Right? There. Photosphere. There you go. All three types. All three uh, uh, spheres, sections of the blade, and then your three moon guards, right? Just knowing these will get you far, right? You don't have to necessarily concern yourself too much with the intermediaries as of yet. That comes later. Try to keep it as simple as you can, right? You have your two high guards, one on this side, one on this side, and then you've got your, your middle right there, just to keep it simple. All right, so there's another exercise in the bag for you guys to try. We will be having a streamed class uh, pretty soon. I will also record a class, which is going to take all of these exercises and one more, which I have coming for you, and we'll put it into probably like a 20-minute workout, something like that, so that you can follow along at home. And it will be no instruction, none of me gabbering on like a moron. Just straight, here's what I'm doing. Go ahead and follow me. Try to get some technique and get some uh, get, get the blood flowing, as it were. All right, so that's in the that's in the works. Everybody, stay safe and healthy out there. Keep washing those hands and keep that social distance. We will be here for you. Please join us on Facebook. Uh, hit the bell the YouTube bell if you want to get updates when we upload one more of these or just keep checking back. We Again, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, all of that stuff. Go ahead and uh, try to connect with us out there. we got nothing but time right now. So, until next time, patience, practice, perseverance, happy savory.